Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and Happy New Year. This is the first broadcast from the Bedlam Farm Broadcasting Network um, of, of the, the year, year, of the You're new right. year. You're right. And it's our first visit of the new year to the fabulous, mythic schoolhouse studio. <laughs> and here is the artist herself, Maria Wolf. So we're here to something new and exotic today. I like the way you said my name. <laughs> Maria Wolf. <laughs> we're here to talk about uh, Shiboni. Shibori, Shibori. It's a Japanese, what is it? It's a Japanese... Japanese dyeing technique. Dyeing technique, which is, how did you get into this? Well, I had all these hankies. Come see my hankies, my pile of hankies. I had this box of hankies under my under my work table for years and years. And so I finally sorted them all out and um, decided that I was going to dye them and do something with them. And this has been a big them. project. Yeah, this has been, I'm not going to do all Which you've been muttering about all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got into a little bit of a, a lull today because um, I got a little bored and I thought, why am I doing this? What am I going to do with all these hankies? These are the ones I did. And what are you going to do with all these hankies? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I'll, I'll cut them apart and um, make something out of them. I don't so shibori is what? Is what a technique of dyeing? It's a dyeing technique. It's like tie dyeing, except it's a very, it's a very specific technique um, where you fold the fabric a certain way and then you um, you wrap objects around it, and it makes, you know, it makes s uh, specific designs. This one I used a button, so you could see the round on the end. Can you see the round? No. That's that's right here. Oh, I see. Yes. That was a button. <laughs> that was a button. Yeah. And so what's the process? So I'll show you. I'll show you. Now, these are the ones I did yesterday. You know, once once they dried, they didn't dry as dark as I wanted them to. So this time, today, I'm leaving these in. I only left them in a half hour. These have been in all morning. So these are, these are the pieces that I have. See, they're all kind of wrapped up. And they're, they're floating in the dye bath. Um, I'll, I'll, let me show you. Your hands are blue. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I'm not cold. It's not that I'm cold. I do have gloves, but I forget to wear them. So you, when you when you when you do it, you have to accordion fold. So this is one of my vintage hankies. You have to accordion fold it. And that lets the dye penetrate um, correctly. And so this is like a really really simple. I'm just doing a really simple design here. And I kind of just you know made it up as I went along. I, I got the basics. And then I just started playing with stuff. So I found these letters and um, I've been, I, I don't know how this is going to work, but I've been putting things inside. Um, I don't want to actually do that because I would want to keep, keep it the same. But putting stuff inside the nap, the, the hankies and then stuff on the outside. So then, well, let's see, after you fold it. So maybe this this is going to make squares these blocks of wood and then you just wrap um, a rubber band around it and there's all kinds of things you can do like you could see the, the ones i'm going to pull one out of the dye bath and there's all kinds of birds in your feeder i know i have a lot of um, a lot of woodpeckers too and a wonderful flicker that comes every day a big flicker it's really pretty but mostly the chickadees are there and the sparrows and the little brown birds. All right, so then what, what I do is I just like soak that in the water a little and then I then I dump it in the dye bath. So these have been floating How long do you around. leave it there? Well, these I've been, I've had these here all morning. Just like a witch's brew so, here. So it's been hours. I'm going to pull one out. I am going to put my, my gloves on because my hands did turn blue and um, it washes off, but you know. It's a nice touch. I figure... I don't need <clears throat> tips. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there goes the glove. All right. Well, all right. We'll forget about the gloves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just move on. So I'm going to pull one of these out that I know has been, right, I'll get one from the bottom. I know he's been here a long time. And we'll see what it looks like. Mm, that one hasn't been there that long. I remember that one. Go ahead, that one has. Hmm. I'm trying to remember which ones I, I kept in the longest. Okay, we're heading for five minutes, so. Okay. <laughs> so try to remember. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's just do this one. This one looks pretty dark. So. so I have no idea what this design is going to come out like. Or what you're going to do with it. 
or what I'm going to do with it, which is why I got a little low thinking. Why am I doing this? Hey, did you have an answer? I did not have an answer, but um, I thought, well, I'm making fabric, you know, so I use fabric all the time and I'm making fabric. So, well, so here we go. This is a nice example. How did you learn this? And I read YouTube. <laughs> like everybody learns everything. So there, that's kind of a kind of an interesting design. So kind of an interesting pattern. Can you see you, that? you have no idea what's going to happen with these? I have a sense of it, but not really, because I just, you know, I've used all kinds of all kinds of things. I put buttons in, and clothes pins. And see, now I'm looking at this, and I'm saying this on the end. That's the really interesting part of it. You know, this this right here on the mm -hmm, end. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll cut them apart and and use the interesting parts and. What also happens is when I first take them out, I think they all look horrible, and then when I look at them later, they look a little. You like them? You like happy with so, these on the on the floor? Some of them, some of them. So I put this on my clothesline. I have a clothesline. You know everything in here. I will. We'll see how that works. <clears throat> all right. Well, that's kind of exciting. It's very well, different. You never know we'll when see. you come in here what's going to go on. Uh, we'll we'll see where it goes. What's going on? That fertile little brain popping out all the time. Thank you. <laughs> Well, these look kind of cool. I can't wait to see what happens. We'll return and do another video once you figure okay. it out. All right. That sounds and good. And congratulations. Well, thank you, John, for visiting my studio. And it's very exciting to be back in the video business in 2000. What is it? 2020? Two. Two. 2022. <laughs> good God. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Maria. Thanks for letting thank us be you. there. Good day, everybody. And good luck with this. Thanks.